Hello everybody, here this is Tim again, here with another video, this time for a reaction video. I recently just watched the Barry Keoghan, or Keegan, or Keoghan, I guess, scene of him as the Joker that was deleted from the Batman movie. I can see why it was deleted, it kind of undermines the Riddler-Batman sequence that's later in the film. Um, I just thought I'd do a reaction to this, because a lot of people have, and it's kind of new, and give my thoughts on it really quick, because anybody that watches my channel knows like I'm a big Batman fan. In terms of the Jokers, I thought... Cesar Romero was good for the time he came out in the 60s in the campy Adam West show. Jack Nicholson, I thought, was great. Um, really over the top, but fun. Definitely a lot of Jack in that Joker, but he was fun. Um, Heath Ledger's version was amazing. Easily the best live-action Joker thus far. Um, Jared Leto's version, I don't think we've seen enough of him, but at the same time, I did like it. I like the aesthetic of his Joker. I like the look of it. I think it feels like an updated version and a modernization of the comics concept of the Joker, of the classic concept when he was a gangster. I honestly have no problem with it. I liked it. Uh, I just don't think there's enough of it. Um, even the damage tattoo on the head never bothered me because it's uh, first, it's so tiny, I barely noticed it. It wasn't really distracting. Um, second... Um, it perfectly, it would be something that a modern Joker gangster, like, gang leader or thug would have that is realistic for this type of Joker that they were going for. So I didn't mind it, I just felt like he was underused. Um, this, uh, oh, I almost forgot Walking Phoenix. Walking Phoenix Joker I also thought was great. I would say he's my second favorite Joker after Heath Ledger. Um, with probably Jared Leto's ver gangster version, more modern gangster version in third place. Then Jack Nicholson in fourth place, uh, and Cesar Romero, of course, fifth place. This new Joker, um, I've, I've only seen this one sequence from him and that other sequence at the end of the movie, basically, where it was like a cameo appearance to set him up for um, the sequel, probably, or, or an inevitable third movie or something. As far as he goes, I think the actor is fine. He looks really young to me, but uh, of course the Batman in these movies, Robert Pattinson, also looks young, but Robert Pattinson at the same time looks older than the dude playing the Joker. Um, this Joker very, looks very little kid to me. Um, they took Matt Reeves took the basic idea that they did on Gotham. If you watch Gotham in that, the Joker falls into a vat of acid and doesn't come out real pretty and stuff. He just kind of comes out looking like a demented Uncle Fester. He looks good in the context of that show. He his look makes sense. Um, this is a, even this is a pretty much a takeoff of that. So Matt Reeves pretty much took that idea and made it even uglier and more grotesque here. I think the performance is mostly is mostly fine. I'm not really digging the laugh. It's kind of hit or miss with me. Overall, in terms of this sequence, uh, the sequence is fine, but overall, in terms of the Joker in the scene, I thought he was okay. There's nothing, like, mind-blowing about him. I think a lot of, some people will just like it because it's just Matt Reeves, because they just love Matt Reeves, and because he's such a highly respected director, they'll just go with whatever he puts out, kind of, or they'll defend it. That's cool. Uh, and then there'll be people who would just hate it on purpose, who are, like, crazy Snyder fans just because it's not Snyder, um, or Snyder influence. That's also true. Personally, I'm fired with everything I watch. I can only give my honest opinion. In terms of comparisons to the comics and uh, just this version seeing it here, laughs, the laugh is kind of hit or miss for me. The performance, it's good. It's good. It's fine. I think the actor's doing what he's supposed to do or what the director asked of him. So it's kind of like a Hannibal Lecter type thing where Batman goes to him for information and stuff. I like the concept of the idea. Um, overall, he's okay. The look looks fine in some shots when it does like an up-close version of his mouth. It feels a little bit trying too hard to me. Like, they keep pushing Batman to try to go even edgier and edgier with its villains and its world and how dark it is and all that. And I'm fine with the darkest Batman possible, but if you're going to keep going that direction, then this needs to be rated R. You're not going to be able to... Like, if you got, like, a Joker who looks like uh, some kind of Rob Zombie type character, and then you're trying to still do, like, a hard PG-13, then... It's not going to work as much for me because it'll feel like you're trying too hard with the look to make him scary, but you're still holding him back with a PG-13 movie. Like, you need to go R, really. If this is the way you're going to go, just go R. Um, overall, the look in, in, in the close-up of his mouth looks like it's trying a bit too hard for me. I like the idea, though, that Matt Reeves said this Joker was, like, born with a permanent smile, like a deformity, and then fell on the acid and got even worse deformed and scarred up. Uh, his hair looks like he's got the mange. He has very little hair. I could never see, like, a Harley Quinn falling in love with this Joker. It would be more like he was, like, a cult leader and had, like, a subordinate who was, a, a like, a version of Harley Quinn, somebody that he, like, seduced to be a follower of his. But I don't think Matt Reeves has any interest in Harley Quinn, though, to be honest. As far as this Joker goes, though, just for the two sequences I've seen him in, he's okay. Uh, there's nothing mind-blowing about him. It's not this uh, uh, prison scene or whatever is nowhere near as good as The Dark Knight. Um, that's still easily the number one like Joker scene ever. This does not equal that. It's okay. Um, I really enjoyed the Batman movie though. It was uh, it was a 
Awesome movie. After rewatching all the Batman films, I would say it even moved up in my ranking. I recently marathoned the films, and I would say I like it better than Dark Knight Rises. Um, it's still not as good as Dark Knight or Batman Begins, though. Also, I like Snyder Cut better than The Batman by Matt Reeves, but that's a Justice League movie, so it's not really a fair comparison. In terms of like the solo flicks, I would say third best for me after Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Um, yeah, but this Joker, he's okay. The look is fine. It's trying a little bit too hard to me in the face and stuff for a PG-13 rating. It would be more suited for an R-rated movie. Um, overall, though, he's okay. I mean... That's it. That's really as far as this Joker goes. There's not a big lot to the scene. It's well done. Uh, it would have worked in the movie fine, but it would have undermined a little bit of the Riddler scene. You didn't really need this scene unless it was like the whole movie was him going to the Joker for information about the Riddler maybe. But yeah, overall, it's okay. There's nothing here that blows me away. I've seen this take none similar on Gotham. Much better makeup and stuff here though because this is a much higher budget movie. The act's what this actor really reminds me of is like the Gotham version, the much more younger like kid Joker that they did on there, which I like the Gotham version. I thought it worked for what it was, but that was meant to be like a really hardcore prequel story for all the villains and Batman. Batman was like a little kid in that show for the whole thing to the end, the final episode. Um, Here, this Batman looks a lot older than this Joker, but uh, yeah, he's okay. He's fine. That's pretty much all I can say. There's nothing here that blows me away, nothing here that really pisses me off or upsets me. Uh, the laugh, like I said, is hit or miss with me. Um, he's okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much my take on it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again.